Hey everyone, it's Lawrence here from Shudok and we're back today with another SGE look through. There's been a couple of changes since uh, we initially started doing these overviews and demos. It's interesting to see how everything's morphing and changing based on the feedback given and what SGE is being used for and not used for as well. So I'm going to run through a couple of those changes today that happened recently, literally within the last couple of weeks. i uh, really excited to show you guys. Let's get into it. So to start off with, the most significant change that was seen in SGE was the introduction of cite cited links within the search generated response. So let's check out how that looks now. So one of the examples that was brought up that I saw in uh, SEO Roundtable was the supermoon. The idea of the supermoon, when we Google that, we get the search generated response, but now we have these little citation links splayed throughout the search result, which is really interesting. Now looking at this, this was part of that major feedback and that backlash that Google received from, okay, we're doing generated responses, but where, where's this information coming from? Are you guys just plagiarizing content currently on websites and not citing those sources? So now they've introduced the citations. Looking at this, it's a great feature to have and can introduce the idea of maybe more click-throughs through these links. But looking at it visually, it, it feels a bit clunky as well. This, this is a whole part of SGE that they still need to explore is, the clunkiness and the versatility of it, it's still not hitting the mark. And that's a lot of what people are saying online as well. I look at this and go, all right, cool. I can read the text, but even looking at it with my own eyes, I'm getting a little bit distracted on what to actually read on the search results. So something to consider in the experiment. Another thing to note is all these different UI variations that people are posting up on Twitter. I'm trying to trigger some at the moment. I'm actually struggling a little bit, but one of them I found was when I put in the search for how to reheat a steak in the microwave without drying it out. Again, a very conversational type of search, and I don't think Gordon Ramsay would be too pleased with this. Uh, apologies ahead of time. But if I was going to do this, we've got the cited links in there, which is really, really uh, interesting to see. But we also have different steps and they're also brought up from different search results and also cited by different sources as well, even to the point of uh, a restaurant included on here as well. And to me, I'm looking at this going, well, now this is, is this the new top 10 links that I'm going to see when I start Googling things? Does it feel right? Am I reading this in these headings? Am I going to follow these instructions or click through and get into more detail on what the web page actually tells me in terms of these steps? Or am I going to use the steps that are amalgamated from different search results? So for a generative response that's citing a lot of different sources, this is great, but is this an accurate representation of what to do? And am I going to trust this result and just take it on face value? Or am I going to click through and actually read the web page which it's cited from? Probably the most pertinent one, which would be all recipes right at the top. I probably just go to that and click through and try to read those steps instead of trying to read it off the search result. Another introduction that we've seen in SGE is videos. Now videos appearing on the search result. This is kind of an expected thing since video formats are more uh, what people are using to search for things like TikTok and, and YouTube is increasingly as popular as ever. Uh, when we generate the response, could Batman beat Superman, which I know he has in some of the comic book variations. Uh, we have that generated response, but also we've got the video. And I'm really interested to see if I click the video where it goes. It actually doesn't take me and click through to YouTube. It puts me in a bit of a... Super. It puts me in a holding area where it's not exactly YouTube. I believe this is the general response, but now I'm interested to think about, okay, is this now expanding the reach of YouTube videos to the point where Google in itself is a, a platform that they can utilize to promote YouTube videos? Uh, and how does that interact with the search algorithm on YouTube and Google? Really interesting synergy as well to, to start seeing that more videos are taking, um, taking space in the SG. And I'm interested to see if I follow through on that search result too, what kind of variation it would give me knowing that I've already previously searched for the same search results. So this is, can Batman beat Superman without kryptonite? A lot more of a blase result, but you can see what SGE is trying to promote here is that diversity of content and that diversity using video content as well. Another little feature that popped up recently was from Google, where we can see in some of these search results that from Google appears and it says, Google's Knowledge Graph provided information for this overview. So what that's indicating to us is the information presented in, in the knowledge panel on, on the, the right is how they've sourced that information. Perhaps a way of Google saying, hey, we're not ripping this off 
websites and just putting it in our search generator res result, we've actually pulled this off the knowledge graph that we use as well. A way of saying we're citing it from our own sources, but of course Google's, it's, it's a search engine, right? It's getting its sources from different links and different web pages. So it's interesting to see that little feature and I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna play out, but it may be an indicator saying, hey, this is where we're getting information from to allay fears that people are just getting ripped off essentially for their content. So of course, out of all these little changes that have happened, we've got the pundits talking, we've got the SEO personalities and people that have been watching the industry for the last 20 years sharing their thoughts, especially on Twitter or X as they call it these days. This is a really interesting tweet from Martin McDonald. It says, I had a conversation a few days ago and here's how I expect this to go down. Google will continue to claim their AI model is great and next quarterly earnings call will be a sub note that monetization is providing a challenge. And then if we look down here as well, basically he's indicating that he feels like Google is gonna struggle a lot with this jet search engine response and just AI in general. But for me, I'm thinking about this going, well, they've doubled down on this pretty hard, at least from the beginning of the year. And at least in my anecdotal opinion, I can see that the AI hype is dying down a little bit. And you can even see in Google Trends that ChatGDP and the logins for that are actually trending down. Now, whether this be people just using it for what it's what it's rightly you know, supposed to be used for, or finding better tools that are not ChatGTP or finding different uh, AI tools uh, online or you know, how they've used the open AI as well, um, that the threat of ChatGTP could be decreasing and Google will double down on SGE and have to keep pushing forward in it. How lost are they at this point in what to do next? You can see from some of the examples I've shown that adding citations in, well, a great idea in execution, it's not as pretty as it looks and maybe it's not hitting the mark uh, for a lot of people. It's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out long-term. I think it will keep pushing forward, but find a way to use SGE to their advantage in the right searches rather than just doing a big sweeping change that is kind of not needed at this stage. I think people are quite happy with how the search results look currently. They're probably just not happy at how to optimize for them long-term because the goalposts kind of keep changing, but they stay the same. We're gonna keep on track with this. We're gonna keep watching uh, from our perspective and provide those insights for you on this YouTube channel. But right now we're in the middle of it. There's just another couple of months of SG experiments to do and they've already changed heaps since the beginning. I'm excited to see what they do next. And there we have it, a quick update on the latest changes to SGE. Like I said, we're gonna be following this more as we go down this exciting search journey. So please like, comment, subscribe, provide some suggestions of what you wanna see and what you wanna see as search as well as demos. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one.